Mindset Reset Free Cash Friday, uh, first day of a new month. And of course, our old friend Goldzilla did not disappoint. Uh, 10 a.m. Major Red News. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, 10 a.m. Third Hour Major Red News. And uh, the challenge to most traders is going to be doing nothing. Sitting on their hands and waiting for that 10 a.m. Major Red News release. And I know there are traders trading... Uh, uh, earlier trading gold, uh, there was a couple of opportunities, uh, nail and bail on the DJ30. Uh, but again, you'll notice that was a 100 pip move, 7,500 pips uh, from closing price to low of day, Goldzilla. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a couple of things. I made some notes. I try to answer some questions again in these mindset resets. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is in managing your emotions. Um, so we had 10 a.m. major red news. One of my mentors taught me years and years ago, don't get elated, don't get depressed with your trading. And what that ultimately means is uh, when you're in a winning trade or when you're profitable, don't get elated, don't get overconfident. Um, like Paul Tudor Jones talked about Eli Tullis losing thousands or hundreds of thousands one afternoon and he cordially entertained some ladies from the, you know, local council or something and acted like perfectly Paul Tudor Jones couldn't believe it. He acted like nothing was happening because he was in charge of his emotions. He was, you know, not going to let the market dictate his emotional state. And when you're emotional, you can't manage yourself properly. You can't either manage a winning trade properly or manage a losing trade properly. So one of the most powerful things you can do is not get elated or depressed. Just execute the trades, no matter how big or how profitable they may be. So 10 a.m. major red news. And one of the challenges for traders, free cash Friday, first trading day of the new month, is sitting around and waiting for that 10 a.m. major red news release. Gold was pumped up quite high day three, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, out of a rectangular breakout. And first day of a new month, we were inside when the 8 a.m. hour started. Again, go back and watch that video on gold that I have where it talks about first hour puts in a high and a low. We have 10 a.m. major red news. First hour puts in a high, second hour puts in a low. Um, and we had a 945 reaction to a uh, orange news item on the calendar. But I want you to think about the reality of that is in, in most cases, I don't think the news had anything to do with that. We had volume trapped up above the high of the day. Now, in the old days, the, the degenerate gambler in me would want to be trading the movement. And I always talk about this, especially with gold. If you understand gold and you, you again, stick around long enough, FAFO, and just watch. I mean, 10 a.m. major red news. I don't even worry about what gold's doing anymore. I just know that at 10 a.m. it will come to life for what they are really going to do on a Friday, which is the closing range of the week. I said this earlier today on the community post. Don't be surprised by whatever happens today because it's the first day of a new month and it's free cash Friday. And so one of the great things about gold is that it never disappoints. It rinses and repeats. Uh, you know, I've been following gold for five or six years now. And as I said yesterday, I cut my teeth on it and nothing surprises me anymore. And I said this yesterday, once gold starts to go, if it's in a range expansion, do not counter trend it. It's Friday. It's the closing range of the week. It's not Wednesday. It's not a Tuesday. Uh, I also talked to somebody about this yesterday understanding you know the difference if you're trading around the news number one the four types of news candle opportunities first bounce today was a classic textbook example of a first bounce now we're going to just differentiate a couple things here first bar first bar traps volume first bounce is the coil inside of the ema after an explosive move now i explained to a trader yesterday what differentiates those two typically from a stop hunt is that a stop hunt will take out the higher low of a day in the first minute, typically, or it may go one, two, three to a higher low of the day if it's a stop hunt scenario in that first minute. In many cases, it will explode as a vertical candle, get people chasing that move, and they're caught in the stop hunt at the higher low of the day. A first bounce typically will be part of a larger 
pattern. Now, one of the traders said to me yesterday, what, what was the larger setup on, on the explosive first bar news catalyst opportunity? Uh, so we closed above closing price number one. We had trap volume, but go back. It's always three days. It's a three-day template. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If it's on a Thursday, guess what the three-day setup is? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If the trade is on a Tuesday, guess what the three-day setup is? Friday, Monday, Tuesday. It can be that simple. That's the three-day setup. That's summarized in, in 30 seconds. So first bounce is nine minutes, was nine minutes today. Now here's the thing about first bounce and taking a starter in. We already had some volatility. We're inside of our peak formation high and low. And as I've talked about, we're in a market that's already broken out. So one trader yesterday questioned the British pound saying, well, it was a failed breakout. You're inside. And again, I, I want you to go and understand when other time frame traders are in the market and we've had a range expansion as opposed to a failed breakout. They're not the same thing. What are the three things that markets do? Like people pay a lot of lip service to that, but understand what it really means. They break out, they pull back, and they continue. That is not a failed breakout. So differentiate that between a market that breaks out, reverses, and sets up for a reversal setup, which we'll talk about with oil in a moment here. So when a market coils like that, Major red news is over. Everything's go now. Now, I, I could have put a green box for 10.01 that, okay, it's all systems go now today. 10 a.m. is the start time because we had major red news. First bounce. People were scared to, to take that trade because the market's moved so much already. But, but all we have now is a box, a U.S. session rectangle inside of the high of the day. So the minimum target in that coil should, should at least go back to the high of the day. So, again... With any trade, always is the opportunity to have a starter. And, and you know, if you think just in simple terms of time, time, five minutes. There's a first bounce on five-minute chart, I believe. Uh, but in the first bounce on the one-minute time frame, if you think about time rotation, nine minutes in, we've got a 15-minute candle about to close. That's four minutes to be confirming if price is behaving properly. And if it's an hourly, one hour now, 10 a.m., to 11 a.m. that market moves straight up we could be going on 10 a.m. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. or see some kind of uh, two-sided auctioning in that third hour right but but what do we see a range expansion that just keeps going on a momentum line higher and higher and higher it's Friday not Tuesday it's Friday not Wednesday we're the closing range of the week. Major red news is over. Why does this need to come back? So I really, really emphasize that to traders. If you're sitting around looking to scalp something later on, be very, very careful, especially with gold. It's the closing range of the week. It's the first day of a new month. And counter trending, as I put on that uh, meme, FAFO is not a good long-term strategy targeting asymmetrical risk reward. That's a 300 pip move outside of that box today. That's asymmetrical risk reward. That's a trade that can be added into because it has potential now for a range expansion. Sizing into something 25 pips is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something where I can add in and other time frames are driving that move. So that brings me to my next point, which was the oil trade. Now oil, we had an inside day on Thursday. We've pumped up higher, first hour, coil sideways. We get a vertical a little move down and, and, the, and the third hour starts and it starts to break down. Now, we have a smaller pattern within a pattern up top, a box up top. Now, this is a great example of when something is not behaving as it should. So we've had 10, 12 minutes in this trade. It's broken a lower low. That market should continue to break down now and make lower lows. Even if it pulls back, it should be breaking down. So management of this trade. Now, starters, so gauge the two different opportunities with gold. We're in a rectangle for a measured move in a market that is has been moving higher and higher. Oil is a high of day, low of day, inside bar reversal setup potentially, or as some traders took, the range expansion on top of the high of the day for a measured move. So that market had 10, 12 minutes of where it should have been breaking down. So here's the thing. 
if it breaks a level at a minimum that chart that that trade should be put to break even now here's a great strategy for traders if you're struggling or if you get married to your trades put the put the break even stop to break either cut the trade or go to break even with your profit target already put in place and walk away and don't look at it go back to whatever you're doing so there's gold there's oil if I'm trading oil and it's not behaving I'll go to break even with a couple of pips of space in case it pops. I want to be taken out of the trade because if I'm sitting there waiting for something to happen and I'm attached to that trade and it's not behaving as it should, then I'm locked into that and it's taking my attention. And if it's, if it's not behaving as it should, in most cases, just cut it or go to break even because then there's no attachment. I don't care if it takes me out and I can manage the other trade. Gold, on the other hand, as it's moving, it's confirming. It's behaving, it pops above the trap volume from the 945 news catalyst that, that broke down. We had volume trapped up high. Now we got volume trapped down low, it's coiling sideways. We've had five minutes to be adding into this trade and it's behaving and now it's moving back towards the high of the day. So now we have an opportunity to, okay, how am I gonna manage profits on this? Am I gonna take some off or is this moving really strongly and am I gonna let that run, put some targets in to take some off as it's moving to that second range expansion? There were several opportunities on currencies. I put the U.S. Swiss up there. It was uh, three levels, three expansions. Now, I really, again, will emphasize the importance of waiting until the news is over. Regardless of the instrument, it's Friday. Um, there is no telling how markets will behave on certain days to certain news releases. And, and do it long enough, repetitive enough, you're going to know you're not going to miss out on anything. But after the news is over... There was so many opportunities today. Yesterday, this whole week, this has been one of the biggest weeks. Um, obviously, today helped that. But just emphasizing, there is no rush to get into the market. If you do take a trade prior to the news, just like the DJ30, it's a nail and bail. Coiled sideways at closing price. 15 minutes, bang, straight to the low. Done. Just That's it. Now I'm not interested. I don't I don't hang around with the indexes unless we have a larger three-day template setting up. Now I couldn't see that. I could only see possibly the collapses. I haven't even looked I, since I've come back. There could have been some vertical moves. I know S&P and NASDAQ popped the tops. Um, so there are so much opportunity. So much opportunity. First day of a new month. Don't be surprised when we get a new timing cycle. But I really emphasize just being in charge of your emotions. When it's third hour news, the degenerate gambler sometimes will want to rear its ugly head. And it's so important, especially if you're going to trade gold on Fridays, just be patient, be, be patient and let it set up because it will not disappoint. You've been, if you've been following me long enough now, there's no surprises with gold. Uh, there's no tricks. If you step back and you look for the larger template setups, you might, you might have heard me talk about day three opportunities at some point in time. Day one, day two, day three for maybe a front side parabolic move, uh, a range expansion on a Friday. We got a range expansions all week this week. Now, we had opportunities in Asia on free cash Friday for reversals, the end crosses. I talked about this earlier. Um, you know, we get big moves. Don't be surprised on the backside if you see a 50 pip vertical parabolic move in Asia, reversing a, a a narrow range U.S. session that coils sideways into the close. There, there was money laying on the floor almost every single day this week. So here, my last point in closing is that these opportunities are not going to go away. And you don't have to get every single one. But what's important to understand is you only need to get one. So which ones could you have traded better or maybe not, uh, if you missed them, what would have clued you into maybe identifying a parabolic best trade candidate that was scalable in size. A real, true, sizable day three opportunity. Or it, uh, as we saw on Thursday, day two, a scalable opportunity for range expansions. Maybe it was a news catalyst. Uh, if you don't want to trade around those, was there Asia or London opportunities? There were several opportunities in every single session this week. And the great thing is traders, they're not going to go away. They were playbook best trade candidates every single day this week in pretty much every session. So congratulations. Uh, you know, again, apologies. I had a, a, a commitment yesterday that sort of came out of nowhere. Today I'll be releasing a technical video 
and I'll probably be doing another one on the weekend uh, talking about some other stuff I want to sh share that will hopefully help traders tune in. And just, again, one of the biggest challenges is managing yourself, especially when it's third hour news, being patient. Impatience is one of the number one reasons why traders get caught into garbage trades. They just can't help themselves. They can't, they can't stop themselves from taking trades. But again, I emphasize taking trades versus trading setups. Setups are, mark, are opportunities that will give us range expansions or asymmetrical risk reward parabolic opportunities from one side to the other of a box, high low box. Um, so yeah, fantastic day. Uh, I definitely going to celebrate this week. So it's been a, uh, it's been a great week for textbook playbook opportunities. I congratulate you. Uh, it's on, and it's not going to go away. So my point that I was saying in closing was figure out where that 1% of improvement is for next week, because we're going to get, we're going to get other opportunities next week on different pairs this week, the yen crosses, gold indexes, oil. I mean, it was huge. There was huge opportunities. Tr trader traders added 300% to their account in one week. That's what parabolic opportunities can do. They're scalable and they go on range expansions and they don't come back. The really good ones like today, zero heat on gold, zero heat. If you counter trended gold, and I know that I know there's traders out there who blew their accounts out today, without a doubt, counter trending gold. Uh, and I know that firsthand. Why? How do I know that? Because I've done it in the past and gold will not come back. Don't counter trend it. Understand which days are counter trend reversal opportunities and other days which are not. But this is a range expansion in the first day of a new trading month, a new timing cycle, DNC. Be in the move that's going parabolic from the inside in a market that's already moving in range expansions. Have a great day, traders. We'll talk to you soon this afternoon. 1% better every single day. And may the markets go with you.